Hello folks, this is 2003 October November paper 1 and the question number is 16. A hinged door, hinged means that uh, it can uh, rotate around a certain axis and this uh, axis itself is called as a hinge. Is held closed in the horizontal position by a cable, so cable here. Three forces act on the door. The weight W of the door, so the door is considered to be uniform and uh, the weight is acting exactly at the center. The tension T in the cable, tension T, which uh, will try to hold the door like this. And the force H at the hinge, so uh, there will be some force over here uh, and it has, to, uh, it has to withstand that force. We often uh, notice that if the hinge is weak, this door might slip like this. This just gets off, uh, the screws or the nails just uh, get off from the holes and the door might fall like this. So, uh, there is certain force on the hinge as well, which is shown like this. Which list gives the three forces in increasing order of magnitude? So, we have to find which force is uh, largest, which force is the smallest, and uh, arrange them in increasing order of magnitude. So, let's uh, draw these uh, forces in a new vector diagram. So, for that, what you do is we have to copy and paste it copy and paste it so we will draw this force it is somewhat like this so somewhat like this uh, so let, let's uh, let's not draw the arrowhead yet let uh, uh, copy and paste it as well uh, paste it as well so let me do it like this so this is the tension force T somewhat like uh, somewhat like this so it should be parallel to the direction of T it should be parallel to the direction of T and hopefully it is parallel hopefully it is parallel and then let's draw this edge draw this edge now it should be parallel to this edge this thing should be parallel to this edge and hopefully hopefully it is parallel most probably it is parallel so this thing is parallel to this w uh, this edge is parallel to this like this and this t parallel to like this so what I have done is, I have drawn these vectors and try to complete a try to complete a rectangle. Try to complete a rectangle. It's because when three forces are in equilibrium, equilibrium, uh, they will be they will form the sides of a rectangle if we draw them one by one, or if we draw them in order. So first it is W. From the tip of W, I drew T, t tension T. And from the tip of T, I drew H, and the end point of this H exactly came to be the starting point of W. So that means these three forces are forming a closed, uh, are closing uh, to form a triangle. So that's why this diagram is correct. So when I look at this diagram, definitely uh, T is the largest, largest, uh, H is the smallest and uh, smaller, and W the smallest. So W smallest, medium is H and the largest is T. So this is smallest, this is medium and this is large. So in increasing order it should be W first, H then and T then. So 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 we have choice number C is the correct choice for this increasing order.